on Empty Mind TV, we're going to learn how to use Omniture's Test and Target product to test multiple versions of an ad. We'll also look at how we can dynamically update the content of landing pages so that the user experience is consistent across the ad and the landing page. For this test, I've set up a couple real basic HTML files just to show you what we can accomplish with this type of test inside of Test and Target. My first file is my ad and it really is just an image tag here and I'm using a standard ad box and if you're not familiar with ad boxes you can read more about them under the help section in test and target but it's really just an image tag and there's two query string parameters that I've attached here one is my inbox name which we will use when we set up our campaign and I've called this USU JSON ad rotation and the other is inbox default this defines what the default content is for the for the campaign and I'm simply pointing to an image on my server that will serve as the default ad for this campaign. Our other file is the actual landing page file. Again, very simplistic. I have one line of text that says you clicked on add default. The idea here is I want to show you that we can update the content dynamically of this landing page based on the ad that was clicked on. So I'm going to swap the content in and out of what's said here based on the ad that was clicked on. And I've gone ahead, as you can see here, and wrapped it with the standard inbox code so that we can get that loaded into the system. And that brings up an important next step. After I had these created, I went ahead and loaded each of these files into my browser. And what that does is that lazy loads these inbox names into my test and target admin interface. Now when I go in to set up my test, those, box, those inbox names will be already available to me. Okay, let's take a look at the setup here. For the setup, we're going to have to use two different types of offers for the, for the campaign. The first offers are related to the actual ads that we want to test. So I want to test multiple creatives of an ad that I'm going to send out to my ad network. And those are going to be of type redirect. So we created the default offer within our code, and then I'm going to go ahead and create two additional treatments, treatment one and treatment two we take a look at this it's a standard redirect offer and if you look here I'm just pointing to another set of collateral on my site that is going to correlate with my test treatment one and I've gone ahead and done something similar for test treatment two my second set of offers that I've created here are going to be standard HTML offers and this is going to be the text on my landing page that I'm going to swap in and out based on the ad that the user clicked through on so if we go ahead and take a look at ad landing treatment one, we'll see it's a very basic HTML offer. And I've gone ahead here and, and added the HTML I want to swap in. You clicked on ad, ad treatment one. Again, just a really quick way to show you that we can match the ad click to the landing page text. Now from here we're going to go in and set up a campaign. I've already gone ahead and set up the shell of the campaign, but we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the key components here. I've called my campaign Ad Rotation plus Custom Landing. If we go ahead and click on the Edit tab, we can bring up the details for this campaign. Now you'll see here that I've added two locations or two inboxes to, to this campaign. Location one is going to be related to the ad content. So uh, these are the different versions of the ad I'm going to swap in and out. And location two is going to be the content on my landing page that I'll swap in and out when a visitor clicks through on one of my ads. If we look at how each of the experiences are set up, I've left experience A untouched so that they get the default ad and the default text on my landing page that's defined in my HTML file. And then I've gone ahead and, and defined experience B which is going to show the visitor treatment one of my ad and if they click through on that they'll see the landing page text for treatment one and again with treatment C or experience C similar I'm gonna see I'm gonna serve up treatment two ad version to that visitor and if they go ahead and click through on it they'll see the landing page text uh, for treatment two and then all we have to do is save and approve this campaign which I've already done now if we go ahead and switch over to our display here you can see that I am being served the ad for treatment two and if I go ahead and click through on that we'll see that again the landing page test here has been updated it says you click through on ad treatment two to prove that we can tie the two together now in theory if I go ahead and clear my cache and cookies we should be able to go back here and reload this page and hopefully get a new treatment let's try it again 
Okay, now this time we're getting the default content. So if we click through on this, I would expect the landing page text to be updated to say that I saw the default content rather than the content from Treatment 2. And there we can see that the landing page has been updated to reflect default content. Again, this is very simplistic and something we wouldn't do in the real world, but hopefully it starts your mind thinking and giving you some ideas on how you could come up with real world scenarios where you would serve up one version of an ad and make sure that you went ahead and updated your landing page so that experience was tied together.